I want you both to stay until I'm done, okay? I have to do a video. We'll go outside in a second, Benny. You two, sit down nicely and stay. Is that polite? You ready? Who's a good boy? Griffin? Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. It is a beautiful Monday morning. It's that time of year again. The kids are back in school and a lot is going on at the end of summer. So I wanted to catch you guys up on a few new things that we've been doing. And one of those things has been the daily questions. We're trying to do questions and answers for you guys. And I've been posting them on Instagram, Facebook, and I just posted one this morning on YouTube. So I'll be doing that from now on. So let me know how you guys like that. And also, I wanted to go over this pond with you for the store. I kept debating on how I wanted to lay the store out and what I wanted to do. And of course, you have to do things so you can get tanks by and design the showroom you know, efficiently. So what I thought about doing is shifting this pond over to the side of the wall and changing the shape a little bit. Now, since people told me they really want me to do a saltwater pond instead of going to the koi pond, I'm thinking what I'll do is if I do salt water and it's very shallow, I can have an area where I have acroporas, clams, I can have different lighting for different things, soft corals. I can really set this up um, really cool. So I even thought about making this like a grow out frag station here. I don't like deep tanks. And one of the things that I am gonna try to do in my store is keep all the display tanks extremely shallow. That way they're easy to maintain and we just don't have any corals falling and getting lost underneath. Okay, so you guys gotta have an imagination and be able to see what I'm doing ahead of time because my drawings aren't the best. But this is the top of the bar, the um, fish tank if you're looking down. So these will be low seating with bar stools and you can actually sit here and then these will be high top bar areas. So I'm thinking about doing a clear acrylic front so when you walk in the store, you'll see the front of the lit up. You know, that'll be glowing here, and maybe I'll light up here where people are sitting. But I just don't want to cause myself extra work and extra cleaning. This is literally probably going to be eight inches deep, if that. Um, you know, everything's going to be close. So the lighting, everything will be right there in your face. So I may build a canopy over top. I may raise the lights up really high. Um, there's a lot of things I have to test out and see what's going to happen. So, going with a saltwater pond this big, I do not want to do any sand and I want to keep the water volume, you know, moving pretty, pretty quickly. So I'll probably have to plumb this thing from underneath. So I'll have water spouts or some kind of things coming up through this whole thing just to make sure this gets flow in every direction. So, since the sides will be covered over here um, and this will probably be blacked out and there'll just be lit up in like the center spots, the tank should have a very interesting um, look to it. And then we'll probably use Kessels or something, so we should get some great shimmer on the water. And this will just be, like I said, when you walk in, this will be the ambiance and the setting for the whole store. And this is gonna be a cylinder tank here that people can walk around. So, still trying to lay this out. I know that's the center, that was my whole design for the shop. Um, sorry for my bad drawing, but this was number one, and then I decided if we shift this over to the right, I can have the checkout counters on the left. So that way, if there's a line here and people are walking down, they don't have to split up and, and go down both sides of the store for the checkout, you know, if there ever is two at once. So just stuff I'm trying to think about, guys. Uh, any of you have feedback, I greatly appreciate it. I do this for you every day. I'm just trying to make the videos more frequent, just that way I can stay in, stay in everyone's... Um, mind because the grand opening won't be for around two months or so but the work that has to be done in the meantime is just mind-blowing so and I'm really looking forward to the splash um, a bunch of us reefers are getting together those of you who are local to the Northeast and can make it to that event uh, I will post it in the comments below but that's gonna be a great great event so it'll be like a mini reef of Palooza and and can't wait for that. So there you guys go. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. 
Thanks for listening to my Monday ramble. Until the next one. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.